After 10 years, divorcing the sport you love isn't easy, but sometimes it's the only choice. Zach Johnson, former Trojan offensive lineman, had played the game he loved since he was 10 years old. However, this season, one hit and one diagnosis changed his life. Johnson said there was never any doubt this was the game for him. Growing up, I was always, you know, the kind of chubby, bigger kid. And, you know, I was never like that tall, athletic type. So I never got asked to play basketball, but it was always football. In high school, I didn't play any other sports. It was all football. So, I mean, in the off season, I wasn't playing other sports. So, I mean, I was in the weight room, I was working out, I was running, all that good stuff. And then football season came around and then the same cycle over and over and over again. Johnson is from Georgia and played high school football for Dawson County, where he lettered all four years. But when it came time for recruiting, Troy was the only FBS school that sought his talent. I was playing my senior year in high school. I hadn't had a, I had some FCS offers, but no FBS offers. And you know, I was playing a high school game, and Coach Slarman actually came up and watched the game. And then later that afternoon, he called me after the game. He's like, "Hey, we want you." Well, we were giving you an offer. Johnson graduated midterm and joined the Trojans early, participating in spring practice in 2011. He actually went to spring ball and went to uh, summer training and, and in, in the fall won a starting job, and which is highly unusual. So he, he's a pretty good player, you know, to be able to do that. When he first arrived, his role was to fill in where he was needed. But due to injuries on the line during the 2011 season, he was placed into a starting role. It was definitely unexpected. I mean, to come in my freshman year, you know, there's, I think there's about three or four guys ahead of me, and then they had some injuries and stuff, and some of them went down. And the next thing I know is I'm starting against Louisiana Monroe. Was, that was my first start, and uh, I, think that was, I think that was just crazy. I mean, it's, it's definitely one of the Lord's many blessings, without a doubt. This season, though, in the first home game against Louisiana Lafayette, Johnson suffered a concussion after his helmet was hit by running back Sean Southward on a play late in the game. But it turns out it wasn't just a concussion Johnson was battling. One day I woke up and I was having really bad neck pain, like I couldn't even move my neck. So I go talk to the trainers about it and we get a neck MRI. After consulting different physicians and a neurologist, Johnson was diagnosed with spinal stenosis, the narrowing of the spinal canal. He was informed he barely has room for the nerves in his spinal column. He just, he just let me know that it's a serious health hazard for me to continue playing. And uh, he highly recommended me not to continue playing. Uh, if, if a doctor tells you that, I mean, there's not much else you can do. So uh, he said if, if a, something major was happening to my neck, then there's about a 90% chance I'd be paralyzed the rest of my life. For Johnson, stepping away from the game of football wasn't the hardest part of the situation. It was leaving his brothers on the offensive line. It's definitely very close. I mean, even last year, it wasn't even as close as it is now. I mean, it's it's seriously, like you said, it's seriously a family. Like, when I got the news I wasn't going to be able to play anymore, I, I probably got texts from over half the offensive line. And, uh, and then seeing them go out on the field Saturday and me not being able to be with them, that, that might be one of the worst feelings about all this. You know, we're, we're certainly sad to see him go, but, uh, but we certainly also understand, you know, that you got to be smart with an injury like that and, and, and uh, take necessary precautions. So I really hate it for him, you know, hearing about the news about him, can't play football anymore, but I know as a strong a guy as he is physically and, you know, off the field as well, you know, uh, he's a very religious guy. And I know that, I mean, he, if anybody can handle it, uh, Zach can. I mean, he's a really strong guy all around. Through it all, Johnson has relied on his faith to sustain him. Just the idea that's been going through my heart and my mind is, you know, this idea that, that screams out from Scripture that Jesus is better than everything. To actually get to experience this, because, I mean, I, I've talked to people, I've told, like, youth before, Jesus is better than football, and Jesus is better than everything else. But to actually get to experience and see God just give me this amazing peace through all this and see that Jesus is truly better in football, it, it's, it's just been out of this world. It's been amazing. Johnson also has received encouragement from another former Trojan football player who had a similar experience. Corey Wilkes was a backup quarterback for the Trojans from 2008 to 2010 before suffering a career-ending back injury off the field. He's actually during, over Christmas break. We're waiting for, uh, we're practicing for the GMAC Bowl. And I was in my dorm room and I bent over, uh, tried to pick something up and my back just locked up on me and I couldn't move. I ended up on the floor um, 
I had to get some guys to come take me to the hospital and all this kind of stuff. And it turned out that I, I had fractured two vertebrae. Wilkes said he felt he had been pouring too much of his time into football, and after he was told he could no longer play, his reaction wasn't typical. It was not as bitter as I thought it would have been. If it had happened a year before, I would have been torn apart. Uh, but because I realized that my priorities in life were not straight, uh, it really helped uh, Really helped to understand, you know, this is where God's really pointing me in a new direction now. Currently, Wilkes serves in several positions at a local church, which is how he knew Johnson. He's been awesome. Uh, we both worked at Camp Troy at Bush Memorial this summer, teaching football to kids. I've had some conversations with him. I've told him it's not fun. Um, being told you can't do what you love, uh, but it's going to turn out. It's going to turn out really good, you know. I appreciate what everybody's saying and doing for me, but when when you actually get to talk to somebody who knows what you're going through and has actually been there, it, it, it kind of takes it to a different level. Though Johnson's football career is over, he already had bigger plans in mind for the future. My freshman year in high school, I surrendered to the ministry, and I feel led to one day pastor a church. And uh, so right now I'm really trying to get involved with ministry around here and back home, uh, possibly youth ministry. And then once I finish up here, I plan on attending a seminary. I haven't decided where yet. So I'm pretty excited about that. I know he's got uh, big things in his future, you know, outside of football that he's going to be involved with. And, and uh, I look forward to seeing what he does moving forward from here. Trojan Sports Now.